Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today what we're going to be talking about is the different career paths you can take as a software engineer. Now, I've noticed there's this misconception that a lot of people think, especially with people that, you know, just had the idea to become a software engineer and are just in the beginning, they think that, you know, you become a software engineer and all you do is code for 40 years and then you retire and that's it, right? People think you're just sitting in front of a desk, just coding, and there's nothing else that you can really do. And this turns off a lot of people because they, they find this as a boring idea or, you know, they think that, oh, I, I'm kind of more social. I want to talk to more people. I just, I don't want to just like sit in my little dungeon and just type on a, on a computer all day. You know what I mean? So th that's definitely not true about being a software engineer. And I just wanted to talk about some of the different career paths you can take. So if you're new to the channel, what we do here is I talk about some tips for you guys and just kind of kind of try to help you guys on your journey to become a software engineer. And if you like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I love you. I'm super grateful. So like I was saying before, people don't really know what a software engineer actually does. You know, whether that's, you know, someone thinks, oh, I'm, I don't want to type in ones and zeros into a computer or they think you're just, you know, working on a terminal with all these commands and, and all you're doing is typing in these bash commands and making stuff happen, right? That There's a lot of misconceptions. And one of the biggest things is that people just think, you know, I'm going to be working as like on the back end or on the infrastructure of an app, right? A lot of complaints that people mention are that when you're coding, you really don't see what you're doing, right? You can't, you're working on something that you can't really touch, you can't really see, and it's just happening behind the scenes. Well, that's not the only thing you can work on. One of the things you can do is become a front-end engineer, which literally debunks that whole myth. You can work on the front-end of apps, on the more tangible side, on the how everything looks, how a website looks, for example, just like the user experience and the flow of everything. And you can really work on the face of a product. One of the career paths you can take is not only a back-end engineer, but also a front-end engineer. This is especially useful if you're more creative, if you have an eye for certain designs and stuff like that. It, it, this, would, this could definitely be a career path for you. And stepping one step further, another career path for software engineers is a UX developer or a UX designer. Now, what UX means is the user experience. And this is basically not just working on the design of a website, but the flow of that a user will experience as they go through, right? From the welcome screen to, to maybe like the product page and then to the, the cart and how you can like purchase something. So making the whole experience as smooth flowing as possible, there's actually an art to it and it's really difficult to create a very smooth website and a smooth experience for a user. So if you have an eye for these kinds of things as well and you're a more creative person, then you can become a software engineer and kind of transition into the UX development. It's something people really aren't even aware of that you can do with a coding background, but it's definitely really interesting. And like, I just want to reiterate again, people think that if you become a software engineer, you're just coding on like some server and, you know, it's kind of like boring, but there's so many different career paths you can take, especially ones for people that are really creative and really artistic like for lack of a better term now this could rely on like a lot of css and if you think you're one of the people that are thinking like oh software engineering isn't for me you could definitely do this it just takes like it, you just have to realize that this exists and then this kind of job exists within the software engineering bubble now if you're a more social person and you kind of feel like oh what all a software engineer does is like, you know, again, like I said before, like just sit down in like a cubicle or at their desk all day and code. There's no really collaboration or there's no uh, communication with other people or you don't really get to meet new people in the industry. Now, there's al there's also several positions where, you know, you can definitely meet new people, go to conferences and stuff like that. Now, one of the, one of these job titles is called a customer solutions engineer. You know, I'm just pulling these uh, job titles off of like the Google job page, but what you can do is basically, you know, you're more, you're more facing towards the clients and towards the users of your app, you know, of your app or your service or your product, whatever. And then what you can also do is you can go to conferences and kind of meet up with other companies, see how they communicate with their clients. And then, so if you're, if you're a more social person, if you're more of an extrovert, but you also enjoy coding a bit, then this is definitely like a position for you. You can also branch out and become like an engineering manager. What this is, is that, Usually you need several years of software engineering experience, but then what you end up doing is you manage different engineers. You're no longer at the point where you're the one coding, but you're more kind of managing them on a people basis, on a social basis, making sure everyone's happy, making sure everyone knows what they're working on and kind of building the direction of the team. Few people are aware that this job exists either, right? They don't know that just because you start off as a software engineer, you can end up in a position where you're not the one coding anymore or you're not the one just working on a back end anymore, right? You can start off with one thing and end up with something completely different, right? So you don't have to just 
put yourself into this box where you think that, okay, now that I'm a software engineer, all I'm going to be doing is coding for 40 years. It's not true. Another, another job that's really interesting and really exciting that you can also become at once you start off as a software engineer is a product manager. Now, these people are kind of responsible for the overall vision, like the execution and the eventual delivery of a product or a service. And what a product manager basically does is that, you know, they scope out a product and then they get all the features required. They see how everything's supposed to look, how everything's supposed to feel. And then they kind of build a team or manage a team of, of usually, you know, it has to do with engineers, maybe some designers some testers and stuff like that. And they kind of talk to all the stakeholders who can actually make the product happen. They kind of get it get the team together and then they're responsible for the delivery. This, this job is very difficult. It takes a lot of work. But like I said before, you know, it's not your typical software engineering position. Product managers are very, very necessary because usually these projects are very tech heavy. And so if you're a former software engineer and you know all the tech involved, you know all the work involved, you can definitely succeed as a product manager because you know what you'll have to do, right? You, you know, you'll know when something's not possible to do. You'll know what is required, how much time is required, how many different techs are required to build if you were a previous software engineer and you'll definitely excel as a product manager, right? So that's another example of a position where you start off as a software engineer, you work for a couple of years, and then down the line, you become a product manager and you're no longer the one coding. You know, you're just in charge of the execution, the vision and the delivery of a product. And most importantly, what I wanna end up with is that if you're a software engineer working for a company, right, these days, a lot of businesses are only tech related. So if you're a software engineer, you work for a couple of years and you kind of build a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge into what it takes to run a successful product, you can eventually launch your own company. You can launch your own app or launch your own service and then be your own like CEO. That's in my opinion, the best part about being a software engineer and probably the end goal from, for myself and what I imagine to be the end goal for a lot of people. Once you're working as a software engineer, you know what it takes to build a product. You know the ins and outs of a company. The thing that a lot of companies require is someone who, know, who knows how to build the tech and who knows um, you know, how to build an app or something like that. So if you're the one who knows how to do that, then you can start your own and build from there. And then eventually you're not gonna be coding anymore. You're gonna be you know, the, owner of a, the owner of a company. And then that is probably the most satisfying of it all. And that's definitely, won't lie to you guys, that's one of my goals. I'm working as a software engineer right now, but eventually I wanna start my own company and then see where that goes. I just wanted to make this video because there's a lot of misinformation out there. A lot of people think, that software engineering isn't for them, but they really don't even know what it is. They don't know what their job entails and they don't know what you can really become if you become a software engineer. So I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you find this information useful. If you liked it, like and subscribe. Have a good one, guys. See you later.